Hi there everybody. Today I'm going to be sharing information to show you how to stop thinning your irons. My name is Andrew Rice. We're out here on the Lesson Tee at the Western Savannah Harbour Resort and today I'm going to be sharing key information to show you how to stop thinning your irons. Before we get started, please, let's keep the conversation going. Please subscribe to my channel. That way we can keep an open channel of communication and I can really work towards helping you have more fun out on the golf course. I also would love for you to, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and please don't forget my website, andrewricegolf.com. Check it out, tons of articles, tons of videos there, uh, and also offer some great three-day golf schools. Would love to host you down here in Savannah. Let's get started. So I think the first thing we've got to address, the first thing we've got to look at is what are the potential causes for these consistent, repeatable, thin shots that you keep struggling with. And my experience in this category points to the club face. I see so often golfers on the way down and many of you who come visit me here in Savannah, on the way down tend to get their club face overly open in the downswing. Now that doesn't mean you're going to hit every shot to the right, but it does point to having to work hard to get the club face around late. Late in the downswing where that face is overly open and now the player tends to have to hang back and they tend to get this look in their arms. Rock the baby. That's what I call that impact position, rocking the baby. And so we need to get something in place first and that is let's work towards getting the club face in position. So a great little exercise I would love for you to feel and I am going to give you some homework here so please stick around. I've got an excellent drill that's going to really help you improve the quality of the strike, get rid of those thin shots. I'm going to save that till the end but we are going to build up to that as we address causal factors. So stick with me here. First one, we're going to work towards getting the club face. I call it getting the club face in place before the club head reaches impact. Let's get the face in place early and the way we're going to do that is we're going to take this lead wrist and on the way down, by the time this lead arm gets to parallel, I would love to see either a flat to slightly bowed lead wrist. And what that's going to do is it's going to strengthen the club face. Now, the stronger we get the club face, here's what happens. The stronger we get the club face, the more incentivized, the more prone we are to getting into that type of an impact position. position. Now, I know this, that we can get into this position and still hit the ball thin. However, we are far less likely to hit those consistent thin shots. We're far less likely to struggle with that and have that as our consistent flaw out on the golf course. So our objective is certainly going to be, we want to get to, at impact, we want to get to a position where our weight is occupying that front foot. We want to get to a position where our hands are more forward and we're just more likely to get the ball higher up the face because, let's face it quite simply, a thin shot is the leading edge contacting too far up the golf ball. Essentially, the golf club is not low enough as it reaches, arrives at the golf ball. So we need to work towards getting that club lower. My experience is let's get the face stronger on the way down so that we can get the weight more forward. And if we can do that, now we're going to start to improve the quality of the strike. So first little bit of homework I would love for you to do is I need you to take a club, I need you to get in front of a mirror, front of a window, be careful, don't break any lighting fixtures if you're inside, but I do want you to spend some time in front of the mirror, in front of that window where you can see yourself, just getting a sense for where we want that club face. I would love to see it tip down ever so slightly by the time it gets to this point with that lead wrist flat to slightly bowed. That will encourage that type of look, that hands forward, weight forward look at impact and too many golfers that struggle with thin, thin, thin are most often way too far back rocking the baby at impact, okay? Rocking the baby, that's what I'm getting at there, okay? That's going to lead to the thins. Now, if we can address the cause, now we can start to build some awareness. The second 
thing we're going to work towards is we're going to take uh, if you've seen any of my videos, I'm a big fan of this Dr. Scholl's Odor X. All over the world, there's different pro products you can use. Foot spray, essentially something to give you some feedback as to where this club is making contact with the golf ball. So I'm going to spray the face. Now I'm going to do something that's going to make it a lot easier. Okay, I'm going to tee this ball up and I'm going to tee it up slightly higher than I would on a par three. Now you're all going, well, that's gonna make it easy to not spin it, certainly, but we're looking to build some awareness here. And so I've got some foot spray on my club face. I've got the ball teed up a little higher than I would have it on a par three, but my objective is not to hit the sweet spot, okay? My objective is to see if I can impact this ball somewhere in the upper echelons of the club face. It's not going to feel good from practicing this myself. I know it's not going to feel good, you're going to get a lot of vibration, but I want you, as you're hitting these shots and developing some awareness, we're not going to hit off the tee for very long, trust me with that, but we are going to develop awareness as to what we need to feel in order to get the club head lower, closer to the ground through impact so we can elevate the strike, move it up the face, get it off the leading edge and start to get some energy into that golf ball. So here I go, my objective here is I'm going to make a swing and attempt to see if I can take the tee out from under the golf ball. That's going to give me the best chance of getting that strike because it's way up high on the club face. So let's give this a go. And I think there you can see, I'll come closer, there you can see quite nicely how that impact spot was certainly above the sweet spot. It was higher than I would prefer to have it. It didn't feel that great, but that was my intent. And so we're going to hit, uh, give me a handful, give me four or five shots where we're working to get that ball higher up on the face. We're feeling, no doubt, okay, we're going to feel a little bit of this club face tipping down as we try to get, knock the tee out from underneath the golf ball and we're going to build that level of awareness. Now, here's the drill. This is what I want everybody to work towards. If you struggle with fins, this is money. This is going to make a big, big difference to your practice. And what I'd love to see, ball on the ground, tee goes away. Okay, we're keeping it real. I would like you to take a tee, we are gonna use a tee, and you're going to push the tee down uh, two to three inches in front of the golf ball so that the head of the tee, the top of the tee, is flush with the ground. Now, our objective, I don't necessarily want divots. I'm not a huge proponent advocate of divots, certainly not interpreting divots. But I do want this club to get low enough so that as we strike the golf ball and it stays low, keep in mind that club stays low, close to the ground for quite a few inches, quite a while, uh, the club should be low enough to grab that head of that tee and just pull it up out of the ground. So let's give this a go here. Two to three inches in front of the ball, Get myself set up, let's try it. And I will show you a slow-mo, here we go. And that was lovely there. Um, I think you can see that tee is poked up out of the ground. Clearly, the club was low enough to get the ball on the sweet spot. It was not thin, it was a nice crisp strike. And I pulled that tee up and out of where it was flush with the ground. And so you're getting some great feedback. Number one, we're working on the cause. What is the cause? Typically, it's an overly open face with that cuppy wrist. We're gonna work towards squaring up the face and flattening out that wrist, maybe even bowing it. Number two, we're gonna develop some awareness where we hit balls off of a tee and we just get some feedback. It's really amazing the difference that some feedback will make to you as you start to go, wow, that's the feel I need to have when I'm striking the ball higher up on the face. And that's certainly what fins are. We're looking to get that ball up the face. And then number three, a super little drill. You don't have to hit a ton of shots. Put that tee two to three inches in front of the, in front of the golf ball, flush with the ground, and just hit some shots where your objective is to see if you can pull that tee up out of the ground. Okay, I hope this video helps. I hope you go and work on this drill. Let's keep the channel of communication going. Please leave some comments below. I will respond to as many as I can, but I want to work together with you to help you have more fun out there. Let's get better together.
Thanks so much for watching. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Give that subscribe button a click. If you already subscribed, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with a friend. You know you've got that friend who might need it. If you already subscribed, there's a little bell in the bottom right corner of the screen. Give that a click. That way you'll be notified every time I load a new video. And I do want to be your go-to person towards getting better, having some more fun out on the golf course.